Hi guys and welcome back and today our show is the Dancing Dolls and they are back and I'm so excited because this is one of my favorite shows. Not only is it one of my favorite shows, it's recorded in the state that I live in only um, a couple of hours from where I live at and they actually um, perform sometimes within like 45 minutes from where I live. So I love the Dancing Dolls. So let's get into it. Um, so on last season, um, we seen Brittany. She jumped up and left the Dancing Dolls and um, talking about it don't feel like home anymore. She was really upset about Christiana not being um, chosen for a lot of the events and how Diana was getting on tour and everything. And um, she, like I said, she up and left. And when she up and left, she's talking about how she don't feel at home or whatever. And that, um, she just didn't, it just, um, I just felt like, well, what about Christiana? Cause she didn't want to say, uh, how Christiana felt or anything like we all watch the show. And if the, we know how close to perfection, these things have to be. And if you, if it's not done, she's going to get on to it, get, get on to them. Um, for me personally, if she wasn't getting on to my child, and I, I would personally feel like she didn't have any faith in my child. Like to me, if your, if the coach is riding her, then the coach knows she is really good, and the coach knows she can be better, and the co coach sees she has the potential, and she's trying to pull it out of her. But Brittany threw a temper tantrum and going to try to be petty. You try she to me. I feel like she was trying to hurt Diana by going to be. Um, to Olive Branch, like everybody knows, that's like one of the people that Diana has the worst issue with is Neva. And out of all the places that that you can go, that's closer to where you live, you go all the way to Olive Branch. Olive Branch, it ain't like Olive Branch is a hop, skip, and a jump right to where you stay at. I mean, like that's a drive. I mean, and that's a good little drive because, like I said, I ain't from here. That's that's like some hours. That's like almost a three hour drive to hop in your car and go. If I'm not mistaken, isn't the doll's house in like Jackson? And if so, Olive Branch is like way up here where I live at, which is like here. Like I live, I live here and Olive Branch is like here. And I'm like, for me, Olive Branch is like, 45 minutes for them all the branches like two and a half hours and for me i guess to go there it's like three hours so yeah get over your temper tantrum because that's stupid who who gonna commute that unless you a doctor or a high-paid nurse who about to drive that for girl bye and something that's why we discussing driving princess mama talking about she coming from Memphis is the same distance if not longer she talking about it's two hours girl bye I'm about to tell the truth y'all it ain't no two hours you see people that don't live here they don't know it's it's longer than two hours she she driving almost three hours too and less but if you're not driving the speed limit which we, we all go over she, you can knock it down to maybe two and a half between two and a half, yeah, I'm gonna say two and a half hours. But anyway, that's still a hop, skip, and a jump. I mean, that's not a hop, skip, and a jump. So, for Princess's mama, I feel like she wanting more camera time. But Princess's mama comes off to me like she may be one of them parents that are just going go going and get her an apartment down in Jackson and let her just stay on the dancing dolls and become a permanent dancing doll. Like she looks like she don't have no qualms about moving or nothing. Me personally, I would be ready to move out of Memphis and move down there anyway. So um yeah. And that's just I'm from the area so I'm kinda somewhat familiar with it. So that's just my personal opinion. So anyway, moving on. I um 
I, I'm going to discuss Tina right quick. I don't want to see Tina leave the show. I know that Kayla has went on and done her thing. I hope uh, what I do want to say, I want to say this about Kayla. I want to see Kayla get in, get in shape. I want to see Kayla get a degree in like dance and all of that kind of stuff because I feel like she is too good at what she do not to do, not to not to exceed in that and not to be doing that. So I, I'm hoping that's what she concentrates on and, you know, she's getting it together and everything because I would love to see her come back as a coach again, you know, with that little, with that, with her degree behind it, you know? So, um, let's see what happened next. Oh, um, so, Basically, when the show starts off, we got Mimi and her her little maxi dress looking cute as, as she want to be. The dress is gorgeous and everything. She walking down to the dollhouse. They get there. Eviction notice is on the door. Mimi and her feeling she mad about it. Okay. Uh, if I kiss butt as much as Mimi do, do I would be mad too because I wouldn't expect a text message, a memo, uh, a, 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 a pigeon with a message on it, a smoke signal or something. Don't have me looking cute. And, and I'm dressed and I just show up to the dollhouse and, and I love viewing room like you could at least tell me so I wouldn't show it. I don't care about nobody else. They don't let me be sitting down there looking crazy. So anyway, um, then um, we have Diana with these girls out here in this field. <laughs> Y'all, tell me why they out here in this field. It's already look like the field on the edge because there's a bunch of trees around the field. So it look like the field on the edge of a ditch. They probably got some stagnant water in there breeding mosquitoes. Coach Diane gonna have the girls down there with West now. They can't perform if they sick, Coach Diana. You know better. You should have them parents out there lighting tiki, uh, what you calling them tiki, um, mosquito torches. They need something to do anyway other than, uh, finna come get on your nerves. Had them over there lighting tiki uh, tiki torches somewhere around the perimeter trying to get them girls some bug protection. You should have told them girls we ain't going to wear it off on the day we perform, but you want to wear something today? Something. Them girls was out there getting ate up. It was so bad. One of them had her flags over her head. Faces broke out. They red. Eyes itching. But anyway, you could at least want to take a little, little pack of Benadryl or something. But um, anyway, so... On this episode, the competition was um, against the Explosive Dance Company from Texas and Neva is back. The Divas of, of, of Olive Branch. Um, let me say this. Neva, I just feel like Neva using Britney. She got Britney over there thinking she'll coach Brittany feeling all good, her head all big, but she just using Brittany to tighten her girls up to make them look like the dolls. And I just think that was so low of Brittany to do to let Neva, even I understand she mad at Diana, but to go that low, honey, you can't be no friend of mine. Because I can't trust you. If you will get mad at me and throw that type of tantrum that you're going to go to the enemy and Take what I taught your child, and you see me teach your ta your child, and then go try to incorporate it into another dance team because you mad at me. Not that she wasn't teaching the moves with her, but I'm saying you're going to try to be a Chris coach and teach it to perfection like she see Diana, Diana do. If you so mad at her, then why you need to go and try to imitate her? Don't get mad at me. Don't be cussing me if you see this. And I ain't playing with you either. Don't I'm just I'm just giving you my un, unbiased opinion from what we see. If you don't like what we see, you need to go talk to production about how they edit it. Cause how they edit it and present it to us is all I got to go off of. So anyway, moving on. So um anyway. So um Diana got two new girls. She got Madison from, um, where is Madison from? She got, she got Princess from, um, I'm trying to think where Princess is from. 
She the one from Memphis. And then um she got Madison from the Purple Diamonds. And then she got Princess from the Prince and Tigerettes. Um, so she got two new people. But it's my thing. Why why Diana, you trying to kind of somewhat be petty too. The same thing you was doing, Neva was doing to you. So I feel like you you shouldn't have been putting trying to put princess up front and center. Which at least it wasn't against the Prince and Tiger Rats. You was just doing it in competition. At least you weren't doing it against uh the Prince and Tiger Rats or whatever. But I'm gonna tell you something else Diana did. Okay, so at first I thought Diana was doing like that one coach did with the colorful hair that cost her cookie. Like he, he did when he had coached her team that time. I thought she was doing like he did and letting all those that don't ever get to do nothing come up there and try out for parts and nothing. But uh, -uh that was some BS because what she did was she tried to low-key use that. So she could set down all her veterans and let Princess have that role. And I didn't, I didn't appreciate that. You just let Princess come in here. And you lead something, but you don't let the ones that's already on your team, that's been on your team, that don't ever get to do nothing, lead nothing. And I think that's a low blow. So I feel like what Brittany did to you is just pay back for what you did to the, the team you already got. Because what comes around, what goes around, comes around. So you got what you've been asking for. You can't do your girls a certain kind of way and then at the same time not expect it, some kind of payback. You don't never know how, how you're going to get your payback. So, I just feel like it kind of all's evened out now because you been somewhat petty when you took those girls. If you was going to take those girls, they should have fell back with the ones that don't never get to do nothing. Instead, you put them up front and center. The ones that don't never get to do nothing, they still was pushed to the back. That's why I love that the other coach actually let them perform that time and they did very well. But anyway, and the, um, his team won, but it's true. It's because you're the better coach. You are a good coach. That's why the ones that don't ever get to do nothing, you need to put in, put in some time with them and get them to where they need to be. Anyway, so the competition day comes. Um, I'm going to tell y'all what. Y'all were sleeping on the Explosive Dance Company because why um, Neva and Diana was so into it with each other. Explosive about to go home with all the trophies because I'm going to tell you what. Explosives look good on the field. They perform well. Their outfits was on points. Their moves was on points. I thought I personally wish they would have showed more of their performance. The mother two, instead of worrying about their petty beef, they should have been be done cooked that beef and served it with some country bob or some sweet baby Ray and moved on from that because y'all losing to somebody that ain't even in the state in, in in our state because y'all trying to be petty. But anyway, here comes Neva out on her little float. Since Neva done got her little so I don't know, she had surgery. She on some weight loss shake. She been over there to to Doctor to Doctor Mill over there in Memphis and got her some weight loss medicine or whatever she done done. She done lost her little weight. She got in her little contacts on her little headshot confessional things with a little hair curled up. Thank you. She in her early twenties again, girl. Go ahead, Neva. If I lost that much weight, I be thinking I was cute too. I don't know if I would take it to the extreme. You be taking it too, but I probably would think I was cute too, girl. Yours, honey. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, you still a fool, honey. You need help. You need to go let what's her name fix your life. Anyway, so moving on. Um, she come out there looking like the gatekeeper on her float. And lo and behold, here go Brittany sitting down there in front of her, looking like the gatekeeper assistant. She frowned up. Christiana cheesing. She looking pretty. She proud. Because she about to be the center of attention. But her mama's up there looking sad, still looking mean and hateful. Honey, you done did all of this. You done been petty and been dirty. Done took the girl from her team, been driving two, three hours every day. You best be smiling. You done went through all of this. Ain't no need to be frowned up now. So, because this is what you wanted, right? Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, um, she, uh, they got Diana stirred up. Okay, I didn't want Diana to follow behind the float because every time Neva baits Diana, she falls for a hook, line, and sinker like a sinker, like a bass, grabbing hold to a hook with a cricket on it. She grabbed hold to it and run with it. She needs to stop doing that. It's a time and a place for everything. What she should have done instead of saying that was 
uh, worrying about them was been reassuring her girls. It's okay. Shake it off. Let's move on. Let Neva have that moment. Let her have her moment because I'm going to tell you, the judges be watching her. Did y'all not learn from the, the toilet when they flushed, did the little toilet bowl routine? The judges ain't for that uh, nitpicky. Cut, come, I'm going to come for your throat. Uh, you gonna come from my throat, vice versa type of drum that they got going on. So for Diana to do that, she ruined. She gave ne She helped Neva win that section. The girls, they did good, but to me, they wasn't better than the dolls. They wasn't better. Than, you know, they. The the I had to. Well, let me let me correct myself. The float part was good because if it was supposed to be a parade. That's what a parade is. The parades, you do have floats and everything. If somebody else didn't think about it, that's not Neva fault. So she did win that one fair and square. But as, as far as all the dancing was concerned, the dolls did outdance um, the Divas of Olive Branch on everything else. So I think the competition was uh, fair on everything. Um, the flag twirling, it did turn out beautiful. It was nice doing a parade. You see a lot of flag twirling, but um, I think the flag twirling would have been even better if it was in front of a float. Like a, it didn't have to be a, a a big float, a small float with an additional of that in front would have been really pretty. Um. So let's see the tie between the dolls and um explosive. I think was correct. It was a tie. They was both equally good. It was just like really hard to choose because I'm going to tell you, explosive, y'all better stop sleeping on them. I'm, I try to tell y'all, y'all need to um stop sleeping on them. But um, <laughs> after the parade part, um, Neva, she, you know, she's going to be eager to talk to Diana. Neva, don't don't ever try to come be sassy with Diamond because you're going to get served every time. You thought you'd come for an argument. All was well till she start, start getting you together about that that hairline. And I don't know, that lace front be pulling back on it like your edge is gone, honey. You best get you some miracle Grow and some, uh, put you some, <laughs> what they tell people to use now, some Vicks makeup rub on there and get them edges back. But girl, anyway... She hauled butt when she started talking about them edges, the edges being back here. Uh, Neva ran off, but anyway, after Neva took tail and ran, that was pretty much pretty much well. Uh, um, that was pretty much well. It. Uh, I'm princess, honey. When princess came across that wet field and fell, I'm so proud of her. She bounced her behind off that ground and kept on jigging like she ain't never fell. I was so proud of her for doing that, and she she actually took into consideration her 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 um critique of what Diana told her when she when she told her they do that on Prince and Tigerettes when they had that little attitude and they just quit dancing but they don't do that with the dolls. I'm glad she listened and she followed through and she did it because she didn't quit dancing. She still went in and she served, and I was really proud of her about that. But for so much um. I think that's it. I'm ready for the next show to come on. Um, at the very end, um, I felt like it was really bad that Christiana was sad. She was looking over there at all of her, her her teammates. And I feel like her teammates, they I think they love Christiana, but they're going to feel like, look, you a, tra you a traitor. I don't know how they feel personally. I'm ready to see the next episode so I'll so I know. Because they're going to they gonna obviously feel some kind of way. You went to the worst team y they have trouble with. they going to feel some type of way. Like, out of all the teams, I mean, it's bad because I understand she's a child. She don't have no control over where her mama say. She got to go where her mama tell her to go. And But it's going to, her mama didn't take into consideration about her. That's going to mess her up with her friendships and everything. All she cared about was her issue with Diane, her being mad at Di Diane. She did not care what it was going to do to Christiana, her feelings. That, that girl had established friendships with the dolls. Their feelings about hurting any of the other kids. All she cared about was her. And I feel like she has done more damage than good here. That she didn't prove no point. And she out here wasting gas money. Wasting this girl time. Doing all this long commuting. 
hurting people's feelings and destroying this girl's friendship. It's hard for kids. A lot of kids get bullied, picked on, and this girl done built her a foundation of trustworthy friends, and you ruining that. Don't do that to a kid. I see so many parents ruining kids. Stop. All decisions is not good decisions. But anyway, we'll see in the next episode if um, Brittany gonna sit down <laughs> and be humble and swallow her pride and apologize to... um. Diana and see if Christiana returns. And I do think that Diane do D Diana does need to give Christiana more chances. But Christiana, if she do, girl, you better come out and serve and let have. And you better not be half button around, filly fat and around. Y'all better go in and let have. Y'all need to get serious and dance. If you're going to do it, do it or go, or go home. There's nothing else to it. Because I feel like all y'all got the talent. Y'all just need to get it together. So I'll see y'all in the next video. Be sure that you hit the subscribe button. And if you look right next to the subscribe button, you will see this round bell. Be sure to click on that bell so you can get notifications when I upload new videos. And I thank you for watching and I'll see you then. Bye.